Good morning, and welcome to the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. We pray that you are in good health. We ask that all present respect the instructions given by our ushers and the guidelines in place to prevent the spread of COVID-19, including using hand sanitizers, maintaining a distance of two meters, and wearing face masks at all times within the church. At the time of communion, there'll be further instructions. At the end of mass, we ask you to exit through the door through which you entered the church. Our presider this morning is Archbishop Hunt, and our gathering hymn is number 621 in the Catholic Book of Worship. Grant to us, O Lord, number 621. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. It's nice to have a live congregation as well as the one that we have through the uh, live streaming. We come together as people of faith to give God praise and to prepare ourselves to enter into Holy Week <clears throat> that we may worthily celebrate this Mass and bring to the Lord our prayers and petitions. We pause to call to mind his goodness and to ask forgiveness for our sins. God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have made all those reborn in Christ a chosen race and a royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and in the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. 
The word of the Lord came to me. Say to the people, thus says the Lord God, I will take the people of Israel from the nations among which they have gone and will gather them to, from every quarter and bring them to their own land. I will make them one nation in the land on the mountains of Israel and one king shall, shall be king over them all. Never again shall there be two nations and never again shall they be divided into two kingdoms. They shall never again defile themselves with their idols and their detestable things or with any of their transgressions. I will save them from all the apostasies into which they have fallen and will cleanse them. Then they shall be my people and I will be their God. My servant David shall be king over them and they shall all have one shepherd. They shall follow my ordinances and be careful to observe my statutes. They shall live in the land that I gave to my servant Jacob and in which your ancestors lived. They and their children and their children's children shall live there forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. I will make a covenant of peace with them and it shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will bless them and multiply them and will set my sanctuary among them forevermore. My dwelling place shall be with them and I will be their God and they shall be my people. Then the nations shall know that I am the Lord, sanctify Israel when my sanctuary is among them forevermore. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm refrain is, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Oh. 
house of the Lord my whole life long. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Rid yourselves of all your sins and make a new heart and a new spirit. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews had come with Mary and had seen what Jesus did, and they believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what he had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting of the council and said, What are we to do? This man is performing many signs. If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him, and the Romans will come and destroy both our holy place and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was the high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing at all. You do not understand that it is better for you to have one man die for the people than to have the whole nation destroyed. He did not say this on his own, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus was about to die for the nation, and not for the nation only, but to gather into one the dispersed children of God, so that from that day on they planned to put him to death. Jesus, therefore, no longer walked about openly among the Jews, but went from there to a town called Ephraim, in the region near the wilderness, and he remained there with the disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. They were looking for Jesus and were asking one another as they stood in the temple, What do you think? Surely he will not come to the festival, will he? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On this last day before the start of Holy Week, the scripture readings are chosen particularly to help us to prepare for what we will celebrate this coming week. The Gospel passage helps to explain to us why Jesus is about to suffer, uh, what is happening, uh, both in terms of the political situation of his day uh, and also within the context of our salvation. That what Caiaphas says as a way of explaining and reasoning why Jesus should die also is theologically our understanding of why Jesus has died, that he might save us all from our sins. In our first reading today from the prophet Ezekiel, we hear of this new covenant that God will make with his people, that he is calling all of us to be his flock and that he is going to be our shepherd. We are his people and he will be our God. These readings help us uh, to prepare for Holy Week 
And they invite us, uh, as does the liturgical season itself, to redouble our efforts as we enter Holy Week. And during this time of Lent, uh, we have, through prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, sought to draw closer to the Lord. And if we've slacked off or if we failed in some of our resolutions, Holy Week is a time for us to try again, to start up to try again. And if we have been faithful and have stayed the course during this Lenten time, Holy Week is an excellent time for us to to reflect on the fruits uh, of the efforts that we have made and to once again in prayer seek to know what the Lord wishes of us. Is there something further that he wants us to do? Or is it in prayer that we specifically are being invited by the Lord to reflect on the message that comes to us through Holy Week and the sacred triduum? That we have a God that in his goodness was willing to become one of us and who was willing to suffer and die for our sins so that we might have eternal life with him who has conquered sin and death. As we continue in our Mass and as we prepare to enter into Holy Week, we thank the Lord for this holy season and we ask him to help us, to inspire us and guide us that it may be a season of great blessing and power for us. Jesus has assured us that wherever two or more are gathered in his name, he is present in their midst. Confident of God's presence here among us, we offer to him now our prayers of petition. We begin by praying for our Pope and for all of our religious and civil leaders, for God's blessings upon them, and that they may have the courage and wisdom they need to lead us well. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for ourselves and for all who have been given the gift of faith, that during this coming Holy Week we may truly open ourselves to the message and graces that the Lord wishes to give us. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick and the suffering, for all those who are struggling with any type of hurt or pain or persecution at this time, that in the midst of their trials they may feel God's presence and his consolation. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for those who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith, that they may have eternal rest with God in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Let us pause for a moment to bow our heads and offer our own personal intentions. For all of these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear the prayers that we offer you this morning both those we have spoken aloud and those that are in our hearts, for they are offered through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, Humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hand. Praise the glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. May the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray. And as an expiation for our sins, may they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, 
Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John the Baptist and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, Father, who who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy thy will be done, done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of the Lord's peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion, a prayer for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. To ensure that the reception of Holy Communion takes place in a safe and respectful manner, we ask that you please follow these instructions. Instead of individually replying Amen upon receiving the host, there will be one general attestation of Amen before distribution begins. Please remain standing in your pew until invited forward by an usher. Ensure your face mask is correctly worn before coming forward and maintain a two meter social distance in the communion line. As you approach the front of the line, sanitize your hands before receiving communion. Bow towards the host. In silence, receive the host in your hands. Step aside to consume the host and return to your pew as directed by ushers. Those unable to receive Holy Communion in the hand may come forward to receive a blessing. Communion hymn is number 6.4 in Celebrate in Song. Let us be bread, number 6.4.
Let us pray. <clears throat> we entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. I invite you to join with me in praying the prayer of Pope Francis to Mary for help and protection during the coronavirus pandemic. O Mary, you, you always, always shine, shine on our path, path as a sign, sign of salvation and of hope. We, we entrust, entrust ourselves to you, health, health of the sick, sick who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, pain keeping, keeping your faith, faith firm. firm. You, salvation, salvation of your people, people know what we need. We are, we are sure you will provide, provide so that, as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Under your protection, we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Have mercy, Lord, on your church as she brings you her supplications, and be attentive to those who incline their hearts before you. Do not allow, we pray, those you have redeemed by the death of your only begotten Son to be harmed by their sins or weighed down by their trials. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Our missioning hymn is number 371 in the Catholic Book of Worship. O Son of Justice, fill our hearts, number 371. i mm -hmm. 